Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and I don't know how long you, who is watching this video, has been watching my channel, but back in January of 2019, I don't know how that's almost two years ago now. I said that I was gonna make a base game save file, basically taking like the base game and all the packs that had a world in them and new townies in them. And I was gonna do a save file where I sorted out relationships. I obviously made them fit the stories that the team had given them a little bit better. As you can probably tell, that didn't happen. Basically, I started making it, I had a breakdown, bon appetit. That was the end of that. I was going through a really bad time and I was like, this isn't fun for me. So therefore, I am not gonna do it. And then when the Sims team finally got bored of apparently waiting for my save file, fixing everything that should have probably been in the game, they were like, screw it we'll bloody well do it ourselves. And they decided to announce that they were gonna do a towny refresh. We have yet to see that towny refresh. I have a feeling it's probably gonna come before the end of the year. However, I am still making my own save file. I've been working on this project throughout like lockdown. If you watch me over on Twitch, you will have absolutely heard of me talking about this because I do towny makeovers over there a heck of a lot because we all know that I'm obsessed with fashion and custom content and creating sims so that's been a really like big passion project over on my live streams twitch.tv if you aren't following over there I know so many people have been coming into my streams recently and have been like I've been watching you on YouTube for years and I didn't know you live streamed yes I just don't do it on YouTube I do it on twitch.tv there's a bitly link down below you can go check it out Ugh, sorry YouTube <laughs> basically what this is it's it's a save file that uses all of my custom content that I have in my game and I've basically basically just been going through some of my favorite households. I one day hope to have achieved all of the households and I've made them over. We're gonna have a look at Bida because these came with City Living and I feel like they're like the underdogs of City Living. I absolutely adore this young couple. I think they are so cute. Obviously Aaron has like this really playful sort of look about him. I really wanted to focus on like colors with him that really matched his personality. I think, oh my goodness. Also when I put this suit on him, so many people were like, excuse me, where is that suit from? It's from City Living. It's just kind of far into the swatches. So if you've never really had a look at it, I absolutely adore it. This swatch is perfection, which has also been a really nice part of doing this passion project is the fact that I've, been using like clothes that I would never really use in the game. And it's just been kind of really fun to explore the fashions of Create a Sim and seeing like how I think about these Sims. So I went with Jasminda. I went with quite like an artsy personality for her. Like I said, these are like a young fun couple in my mind. They both love wearing different colors and rocking them. I think she is so cool cool like Jasminda please feel free to step on me. I basically want to call them all mummy and speaking of mummy we have to get a very special shout out for Brittany Cho. If you know me, if you've been watching my content for a while, you will know that Brittany Cho is kind of the Eliza Pancakes for me in my game. She pops up everywhere. She craves the attention. Sometimes I genuinely cannot stand to look at this woman purely because she is everywhere. She is or at least she thinks she is the moment in my game of The Sims 4. I don't know if that's the case for everyone. I feel like Judith Ward kind of takes that celebrity place in most people's games. So I was like, if this 
chick is gonna show her face in every single bar that I visit, in every single ski slope that I ever go to in the game, I'm gonna at least make her someone that I don't mind to look at and I actually really either want to be best friends with or sleep with like once in my life. I mean, it would be an honor. Let's be real. Let's throw it out there. Some of these people I have full like story arcs for in my head. For example, Brittany Cho is the gay feminist comedian that we all need in our lives. I absolutely love that for her. She's like that sassy, kind of think Miriam Margulies vibes. I feel like those are the vibes that she possesses. She dresses like super monochromatic. I absolutely adore Britney. Again, it would be an honor to be stepped on by her. We have the pancakes. These are actually my most recent makeovers. I haven't done Iggy yet, so Iggy just kind of looks the way that he looked. Bob is adorable. I want this man to adopt me. We decided with the help of chat, obviously, that Bob is just like that sweet, sweet man who probably bakes for all of his neighbors. He probably does like neighborhood barbecues in Willow Creek. And really, it's probably just to like try and take the edge off and get away from Eliza for a little bit. But everyone just thinks he's this like dead fun and jovial man. And then this is my version of Eliza. I basically wanted to like age them down a little bit because I feel, are they adults or young adults? They're still both young adults. So I felt like they looked rather grown up. So I kind of aged them down a bit. Obviously we, I haven't finished Eliza, so I have only done her everyday wear. I stuck to the green and purple. She tries to be Daphne, but honestly, she does not have the Daphne vibes. If anything, she's more of a Velma, but only looks wise. Chat almost had a heart attack when I said that. This is my Johnny Zest. He is inspired by Tim Sims, heavily inspired by Tim Sims. So I will link Tim's Twitter down below because I saw that hairstyle on his Johnny Zest and I was like, I need my Johnny Zest to be wearing exactly the same. My heart for Zoe Patel. I did the roomies. Are they called the roomies? Roommates? Oh my God, they were roommates. These, if you didn't know, this family is based on New Girl, which makes sense when you think about it because Zoe Patel, she's obviously the Zoe Deschanel, AKA the Jessica Day of the household. Then you have Mitchell, who is very like the Nick character of the group. You have Jay Huntington, who is more the Schmidt, one of the group. And then you have Gavin Richards, who is like the Winston. I found out about this a few years ago and a lot of people didn't know that. So I took inspiration from New Girl. I love Zoe Patel. She's a primary school teacher, which is just adorable anyway. Primary school teachers, most of them are absolute delights and I feel like Zoe is no different. But my favorite thing about this woman is I have themed every single one of her outfits for her hot weather and cold weather. So this is her spring themed outfit. Very color coordinators. She matches the glasses to the earrings, to the dress, which we love, a style icon. Then this is her summer. Obviously with this one, she's off school, school's out. She can enjoy herself. She cannot be a teacher for a little bit. For her autumn, she wears mushroom makeup, which, <laughs> Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? She has matching red like maple leaves on her earrings. She has this cute little cropped version of the cottage living jumper and then these like baggy cigarette trousers and her Doc Martens, obviously. What kind of primary school teacher would she be if she didn't wear Doc Martens in the autumn? And then this is her festive outfit, which is green and red and she's got little snowmen on. <laughs> I would die for Zoe Patel. She's one of my favorite townie makeovers that I have done. This is Mitchell, he's my Nick. So I kind of kept him super similar. I just sort of changed his hairstyle because 
If there's a sim who looks like a base game sim, it's definitely Mitchell. So I wanted to do this man justice. We gave him a lot of plaid because again, Nick Miller. Jay Huntington, I didn't realize this as I was doing it, but once I had completed making his face, I was like, I have made Dan Levy of Schitt's Creek fame. If I put glasses on Jay, he looks exactly like Dan Levy. I absolutely adore that man and I didn't mean to make Jay look like him, but I also wanted like the Schmidt vibe and I feel like he carries that quite well. I didn't realize that he was wearing cowboy boots on his like party wear or his formal wear. At least in my game he was. His boots were made for dancing and that's exactly what this man is going to do. And then Gavin, I haven't decided what I want Gavin's career to be. I was kind of thinking like maybe in the tech path, but he is so, oh my goodness, this outfit is stunning. Again, this was another suit where people were like, where the heck is that from? I have never seen that in my game before. It's from Get Famous. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out if you own Get Famous. I just think Gavin is such a little sweetheart. Again, I just wanna protect him. I think he is adorable. But we have Vanessa, who obviously is a one-star celebrity. I just wanted to make her like a little bit cooler, a little bit more modern. I also changed her hair, which I know not everyone is gonna agree with. Everyone's gonna be like, where's, where's the blue hair? Hear me out, maybe she dyes it blue after she gets famous or who knows? I'm sure the blue hair, oh my goodness, can we talk about this eye makeup? Absolutely obsessed with it. Again, I just really like playing around with colors in this save file. And because I've been doing it over on Twitch under like such a relaxed sort of environment, I've really played around with the fashion and the makeup, which is something I never really do. I never really play around with makeup all too much in my game because it usually stresses me out, but doing it in like such a chilled environment, I've been like, actually I can have fun and I can tie this into all of the looks. And I feel like just by doing these towny makeovers, I've learned more about makeup. Dirk Dreamer, I actually went back and made into a Sims 2 variant, if you will. I think I'm probably gonna get him into the athlete career. Follow his Sims 2 footsteps. I can't really remember what he did in the Sims 2, but the way that he looks, like he had super like deep blue eyes in The Sims 2. So I very much took inspiration of his old character and applied it to his Sims 4 version. And again, he's just like one of those townies that is usually in the background, but doing all of these makeovers has actually made me wanna start playing The Sims and like actually giving them a personality, which again, I did a video like a few months back Back now about how to make your game more interesting if you were getting bored of it. And this was actually one of my suggestions was to make your own save file so that you can like romance the townies if you feel like romancing them. Cause I feel like when you're so used to seeing the same people in your game every day, you're just like, oh, like I don't wanna romance you cause it just feels exactly the same as it always has. Whereas if you do this and like make them your own and like style stylize them in your style of making sims, it just makes the game feel so much more personalized. And in my opinion, a lot more interesting. I feel like I'm gonna be attached to these sims a lot more than I ever would have been if I had kept them as the EA default. So I cannot, if you have the time, if you get in bored with your game, if you're like, I really fancy making sims, this is great because like it is just making sims as well. I know people get bored quite easily with the gameplay of The Sims 4 and that's where obviously building and create a sim really stand out. And I feel like people have been moving that direction for quite a while in The Sims 4. So even if you never feel like playing in this save file, think of all the hours of fun you could get from making these sims your own. I turned Morty into a daddy. I know he kind of looks like the dad. He looks like Mr. Gomez from, I 
Adams family. Obviously, I changed the Pleasants, Angela and Lilith. Basically, went back again, looked at their Sims 2 variants, and Lilith was very much this like gothic, kind of edgy teenager, and I wanted to carry that over to my save file, whereas Lilith was very like preppy, popular, probably a cheerleader. Brent and Brent, this one, I can never remember their names. They're some of my favorite townies, but I cannot remember who is who. I do apologize. I think this is Brent and this is Brent. Brent is again, a primary school teacher. We like to think he works in the same school that Zoe does. And then Brent, very much like Bob, is kind of this baker, stay at home dad who just absolutely thrives off getting to know. He is definitely the head of his like neighborhood, like mum society. And finally, I wanna also talk about BFF because these are some of my favorites. We have Travis. These again, have inspiration from their previous iterations in the Sims franchise. These were actually all my Sims. So Travis Scott was a my Sim. Then Summer Holiday was also so a my sim and so was Liberty. So I basically looked up their my sims characters and took very heavy inspiration from their my sims and kind of turned them into real life sims, which I just think is so cute. These were actually some of the first townie makeovers that I did. These and the gods. Liberty is absolutely, I still think, I love Britney Cho, but I still think that Liberty Lee is my favorite townie makeover that I've done, I really want to play as Liberty Lee because I feel like this makeover has just given her so much personality that I'm like, I really want to chip away at this and find out who you really are. Also, these are in a thruple. Thank you very much. It's sort of a different style to The Sims 4 as well. Like obviously very cartoony and whilst they definitely look a bit more cartoony than the rest of my townies, they are still very much in my own style. So there we have it. These are all the Sims that I have made over so far. If you wanna tune in, if this video has piqued your interest and you're like, ooh, I actually wanna check out these townie makeovers. You can follow me on Twitch or you can also just try and search like English Summer Townie thread over on Twitter and I will try and keep that updated. There's some that I wanna go back to. Someone on stream pointed out that my version of Caleb Vator looked like James Charles's sister Mary and I have not been able to get that out of my mind and now I really wanna change him because every time I look at him, I'm like, thank you. I I hate it now. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this anywhere once it has finished. Obviously, I am using so much custom content. I think it'll be fine if I give a warning saying like, look, custom content was used. Some of these Sims might be bald or naked in your game if you download them and you don't have the custom content. But I don't know if I can be bothered with constantly like troubleshooting that. But I basically just wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing in my Sims game throughout a global pandemic and what's kept me really, really enjoying The Sims 4. And then whenever I wanna start a new save file, I can just use this save and all of the townies will be there. And then everyone will look like my Sims and we can like romance them more and things like that. Hopefully that sounds like fun to you lot as much as it does to me, but I appreciate you all. Let me know if you've been doing your own save file. How are you enjoying it? What else have you been doing to keep your Sims 4 saves interesting at the moment? I absolutely love hearing you geek out about your save files. So absolutely feel free to let me know what you've been up to in the comments down below. And I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.